Hey, what's going on? Welcome. I'm RJ. This is RJ's Cave, the place where RJ raves. You are awesome. Thank you very much for joining me. Now, this morning I woke up and Ali Bata had posted a brand new performance. So I got up, I did what I had to do to get my, my day started, and now here we are. I'm going to go set that up. Don't go nowhere. All right. I'm all set. Just one last thing before we get started. If you're enjoying yourself, if you think you're getting anything useful out of this video, please smash the like button, subscribe, and ring that notification bell, all right? We're getting that close to 10,000 subscribers, and I'd really like to have you along for the ride, all right? Also, by doing all that, you'll always know whenever we post a new video, and we'll get to see you more often. So it's kind of a win-win for everybody, all right? And if you're really into what we do here, you can always support us by clicking the super thanks button and leaving a tip. Or by going down into the description and clicking the link for the merch store and buying yourself a shirt, a coffee mug. We have hats now and stickers as well. All right. So, uh, all right. Without further ado, let's get into this. This is Ali Bata as he performs some MOGA. Very cool. Very cool. I really like this run. It was really, really nice. It was very fluid. It wasn't super fast. It was a little restrained. And uh, it was very clear. Really, really nice run. I really like what he's doing here. This is a very 80s sounding piece. Uh, digging this so far. How about you? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Digging them notes, yeah. Getting lost in it. Very cool. This is really, really nice. It's a very, very happy, very major kind of piece of music. Very reminiscent of something like Cannon Rock, which I believe he's done. I'm pretty sure we reacted to that one, right? Let me know in the comments. I kind of forget. <laughs> but uh, really, really nice. This is a very happy, positive feeling song. It's uh, very 80s-ish. It feels like it could be very at home in the mid to late 80s. And uh, tones are great. Wow. 
yeah. This was very cool. Very, very cool. It let me in on a little bit more about who he is. I know he likes to play a lot of 80s songs in, in his repertoire, but um, I always kind of thought at least halfway that it was for YouTube, you know what I mean? And not necessarily just stuff that he really likes to do. But now I see through this song that it really is very much his style of playing. So this was a great eye-opener for me for, in that regard. I love to watch him play. This song wasn't overly difficult, but it was well played, well planned, well put together, and great tones, beautiful guitar as always. I want that guitar. <laughs> Uh, he played beautifully. It was, it's a great piece. The only thing with some of his originals is it, they, they can be a little too short for me. Just as they're getting good and I'm really getting into it, it seems like it's over. <laughs> so, uh, But I really enjoyed this. I hope you did too. I thought this was wonderful. What did you think in the comments? And uh, guys, as always, thank you for joining me. Please. We are getting really close to 10,000 subscribers. If you're considering subscribing, please do. All right, because we'd really love to have you along for that ride. We really appreciate you. And uh, until the next one, I've been RJ. You've been awesome. Take care.